25 million Americans, uh, according to the Commonwealth Fund, uh, were underinsured in 2008. They'll be doing another study this year, and they have every reason to believe that that number will be much higher. So not only do we have 50 million people who don't have insurance, we have at least 25 million, and probably many more than that, who are underinsured. And you're underinsured if, if you have to pay uh, more than 10% of your income, according to the, uh, uh, the, the analysis that the Commonwealth Fund did on health care out of your own pocket, if you're, even if you're insured. Um, the problem with the, uh, that we had with, with SICO, of course, was that uh, uh, it was true. And uh, the industry had to run a campaign to discredit, to discredit Michael Moore as a filmmaker, and as I said earlier, to, to make people continue to think that the care uh, that was provided in Canada, the UK, in France, in Germany, in Switzerland, and even Cuba, uh, that he, he obviously wasn't telling the truth. How could he be telling the truth when we, of course, have the, the best healthcare system in the world here in the United States? And as I pointed out in the book, if you believe that, as many Americans do, then that I, when I was a PR guy, earned my, my keep because we wanted people to, to always think that we've got the best healthcare system in the world. And if we were to look to an example abroad and were to adopt a single payer system like in Canada or some other system, that we would be losing the, the best healthcare system in the world. Even Speaker Boehner uh, said the other day, as he was talking about the need to repeal this legislation, that why would we want to mess with a, and, and wreck the best healthcare system in the world? So there's, they, they use these terms uh, especially uh, to make sh sure that they are convincing us to think a certain way. Uh, that is at the core of, of all of, of the, the industry's efforts here. It's a f there are fear-mongering campaigns that uh, uh, seek to manipulate public opinion, to make us think certain ways. Uh, and the effort against uh, SICO was, uh, was a campaign largely uh, to persuade people from thinking that anybody, any other country could do a healthcare system better than we. And one of the front groups that was set up with insurance company money and uh, drug company money, I see Jack O'Dwyer back there, so I better make note that the insurance industry had uh, some support from the pharmaceutical industry. Jack O'Dwyer is with a, 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 a public relations a newsletter called O'Dwyer, O'Dwyer's newsletter. And, and Jack uh, got a call once after writing about my book from uh, the guy who was the media spokesman for this front group that was set up to discredit SICO. Uh, the, health, the front group was Healthcare America. So they used those terms, those words especially, to make people think that this was a true grassroots organization. But it was nothing of the kind. It was a, a front group that was, uh, was, was set up with industry, special interest money and the money was paid to a big PR firm in Washington, APCO Worldwide, to create this front group. And if you call the, uh, the media contact for Healthcare America, you would have reached a guy named Bill Pierce at his desk at APCO Worldwide, because there was no Healthcare America uh, in reality. Although they did go to the trouble of getting um, uh, a virtual address at, a, uh, at one of these virtual offices in Washington, uh, 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 at the uh, at the Willard office building, and I went by the way to check that out when I was in Washington recently, just to, to make sure that it was indeed virtual. And it's a fine place. It's a, if you if you have a front group, that's a great place to go get your front group uh, address. But uh, uh, and, and, and yeah, if you if you need to have a meeting, you can you can go there. They can rent uh, a, a conference room for you, and they can sell you the, the address, and you you can even have someone answer the phone there for you. So it was a good deal for them. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, this guy who is the media contact took exception to my saying in the book that the funding came from the insurance industry, and he, he pointed out that no, 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 it was the pharmaceutical industry that really provided the seed money to start this front group. He's really pro quite proud of that. So, and he was pointing out that obviously it was meaning the rest of my book was, was not right as well. But, uh, but the fact is that the, the, the insurance industry uh, really put Healthcare America uh, to good use and, and to, to spread it, Michael Moore's movie, Sicko. And uh, as I wrote in the book, uh, the, the, the PR campaign uh, was such that the industry was very fearful of, of Michael Moore and said that if uh, their first efforts were not successful in blunting the impact of the movie, that they would have to um, push Michael Moore off a cliff. Um, 
which was figurative, I think. Uh, 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 but, uh, uh, it but it never was necessary. He's still walking around. And, uh, but, uh, uh, but it just gives you an idea of the links that companies will go to, that the insurers will go to, and the pharmaceutical companies will go to, to win. They will do whatever it takes, as the lady at the, at the uh, uh, Beverage Association said. These are high stakes, uh, and uh, they, they want to make sure that they win. And they did win a great deal, uh, to skip ahead a little bit, uh, to the health care reform debate in shaping the legislation that the president signed. They were very uh, uh, successful in getting what they wanted. They had two major objectives. One was to make sure that uh, the bill included an individual mandate, that all of us buy have to buy insurance from them unless we're eligible for Medicare or Medicaid or uh, TRICARE or uh, some other government program. Uh, and that was job one. Job two was to make sure there was no public option in the legislation. Of course, the first one was to make sure there was no real debate on single payer. And that was pretty easy because they had uh, uh, persuaded even the Democratic leadership that that was a non-starter. So you, the, the Democrats started with, with a compromise, in my view. And it was downhill from, from there on. And the insurance industry certainly was uh, helping to write major sections of the legislation. And there's no doubt in my mind that they were very instrumental in writing and, and making certain that the individual mandate was in there. When Barack Obama was campaigning for president, he campaigned against that. Uh, Hillary Clinton and John Edwards said they felt that individual mandate was necessary. Barack Obama said, no, he disagreed. That was one of the things that differentiated his campaign platform from the others. Uh, he said he didn't think that Americans should be forced to buy something they can't afford. And he said he thought that we should have a public option as well to keep the industry honest. And of course, you all know that at one point he said that if we could start from scratch, he thought we should have a single payer system. But he, he was persuaded of where the other Democratic leaders that, uh, that we couldn't start with scratch. We had to start with the system that we have here and try to reform what we've got. And uh, I think what we wound up with is, is a stretch to call it health care reform. Uh, it's, in many ways, kind of a band-aid on some of the, the most egregious problems that we have. But they got with the insurance industry got much of what they wanted. And uh, they also have elected the Congress they like now, at least the House. Uh, there are many things about this legislation they don't like. There are some good consumer protections in the bill. Uh, as you know, it uh, will make illegal the practice of uh, uh, using pre-existing conditions to uh, uh, keep, you know, from, to, to sell someone insurance. They can't use that anymore.